Hi guys, welcome to the vlog for the week. Today is Tuesday and we're out on an early morning ride. It's pretty chilly. It's like 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have on um, wetsuit jackets and um, we're on our way to Flower Pot Cove, it, which is 19 miles away from the condo. So it's almost a 40 mile round trip but we, we've been setting our sea dews on cruise at about 25 miles per hour and just enjoying the ride. We've only seen maybe three boats. It's, it's a huge difference from Labor Day weekend when if you watch last week's vlog, the amount of boats out on the lake was crazy. And they're doing work. Like if you hear some sounds, they're somewhere over there. But anyway, we're on our way to Flower Pot Cove. We love that area and try to get over there. And it's just beautiful. Those peop the people that own the home, that do all the flowers and everything are absolutely, it's just so spectacular what they do. But I'll show you when we get over there. But welcome to the vlog for the week. There's a little POV of Angie doing her morning clip. We're out here on the see do and join this beautiful Tuesday morning
As you can see, I'm all home and everything now. Today is Wednesday, headed down to the building. It's time to go back to work. And so today's outfit, I think I might've forgotten to show outfits last week, but I don't remember. It was such an awesome week, but is this black t-shirt that's got these little, um, I don't know what to call these little silver decor pieces, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then some pants, black sandals, and this shirt my friend Charlotte got for me for Christmas two or three years ago. I, I just really like it. I like this extra detail, how it's got the ruffle and the little things. I can't think of what to call them. Coffee's ready. So I'm going to make my coffee and the water and get headed out the door and like I always say, hope for a good day. So I do, I hope for a good day. <laughs> Hello there, so today's Thursday and I have a dentist appointment. Um, so I'm gonna go down to the building and then midday go to my dentist appointment and then come home and finish working at home. So. At the time I made my dentist appointment, it was when I thought I was going to be working from home because normally when it's not summer and we're not going to the lake as much, I normally would work from home Thursday and Friday and then go to the building Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because where I work, you need to come in three days a week and then you can work from home two days a week. And since Monday was a holiday, Tuesday I had uh, off the three days or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, but I had a dentist appointment today. So anyway, I didn't really need to ramble all about that. But so today's outfit is tank top, this little shirt that I wear open over it, pants, sandals, just nothing special. But anyway, it's Thursday and I'm getting ready to head out the door and hope for a good day. Hello, it is Friday. I forgot to vlog anymore yesterday, but basically I went to work, I went to the dentist, came home, finished work, had to work about 40 minutes later than normal, which was fine. I only had about 15 minutes to make up because I was able to get to the dentist and get done with almost within the hour that I would have had for lunch. So, but anyway, so did that, got off work, um, played a little bit of my Disney Dreamlight Valley game, made dinner, um, watched the Kansas City Chiefs. That's why I'm really tired this morning because that game felt like it went on forever. It was past 11 by the time I finally uh, went to bed and then got up at five this morning, so I'm tired. But anyway, now just the normal morning stuff, getting ready to make a coffee, fill up my water bottle, and get headed out the door. And, oh, today's outfit is this shirt, pants, sandals, nothing, as usual, nothing fancy. <laughs> just work a regular job, so anyway. Let me get this stuff together so I can get headed out the door and hope for a good day. Hey guys, so today is Saturday. Brian and I are getting ready to run some errands. Just going to the grocery store and getting groceries and things like that. Last night, I forgot to vlog it, but we went and saw Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I really enjoyed it. I don't think I liked it as much as the first movie, but I still really liked it. And I think it's worth seeing, so... But I think we're going to be going to Sam's Club, Walmart, and Price Chopper, so grocery stores today. So that's what we're doing so far on this Saturday morning. It's going to be a beautiful day, like just like mid-70s, so a little too cool to go like out on the sea do or anything, but nice day to just be out and about. So that's what we've got going on. 
is our dinner tonight. It's rotisserie chicken on a Southwest salad mix. It's gonna be yummy. Hello there. So today is Sunday and I'm gonna go to a store I've never been to before, but I've heard about called Ollie's. I think it's Ollie's maybe discount store. I don't know. It's over in Kansas. The closest one to me is in Overland Park, Kansas. So I'm going to pull it up on my GPS on my phone and go there. Got me a protein shake. These are good. The pumpkin spice. I think this is just the second year in a row. Brian's making biscuits and gravy and I'm trying to eat a lot healthier than that. So I'm not going to have biscuits and gravy. But I'm, I did grab this protein shake for on my way over to Ollie's. So hopefully I'll find some goodies and um, I'll show you what it is. So I'm getting ready to get on the road. Ollie's. Good stuff cheap. Huge, huge book section. There's like a water bottle blowout. Tons of water bottles. Lots of like wall hangings and stuff like that. Mattresses, rugs, lamps. They even have fishing stuff, they had car stuff, toys, sporting goods. They have tons of toys, lawn and garden. There's their water stuff. Lots of pet things. Soap and shampoo and all kinds of this kind of stuff. They also had laundry detergent and stuff, but there was a lot of people in that aisle. I just found the kind of toothpaste Brian uses. He uses this pro Namel stuff. It's like eight bucks for this size at like Walmart. Three ninety nine here. They have so much stuff. This place is huge. They have like feminine hygiene stuff, Q-tips, vitamins. So much stuff. Have like a really limited like clothing section and then has socks and underwear but like these are like little puma zip up fleece for $14.99 they have candles and they have like Appliances. More appliances. Like these toaster ovens. For $29.99. 
have like bath mats and shower curtains and all that kind of stuff. They also had pots and pans and dishes, but there was a lot of people on those aisles, so I didn't feel comfortable filming, but had a lot of stuff. Comforter sets. They also have food aisles. Okay, I'm done at Ollie's, and I'm now officially a member of Ollie's Army. So, I guess you get coupons and discounts and stuff, and you can earn points and rewards. And then on my next purchase, I'll get 15% off. And of course, I will show you everything I got, but not right at this moment because parking lot's a little crowded. And there's a Dollar Tree right over there. So, I'm going to drive over there. I was waiting for a lady to pull out of her parking spot. That store was really cool. But I was in there a while. Because <laughs> there's so much to see. And then it sounds like their inventory changes too. And... They had a little bit of everything, really. I mean, they didn't have, like, any big furniture, you know, stuff like that. But I think I showed you a pretty good representation of what they had. And I thought their prices were nice. I thought their prices were really good. They had, well, there's a Weight Watchers studio right there. Um, they had really good selection of there's a shoe carnival I've like I've never been over in this shopping section or set area before there's a Hobby Lobby which it's Sunday so it's closed okay what are you doing car I got a lot of stuff over here. I'm trying to think. I lost my train of thought when it was like squirrel, you know? Um, Oak Park Mall is just right across the street. I'm not going to the mall, but I am going to go to this Dollar Tree. But yeah, I liked Ollie's and I will show you everything I got. Just not right now. <laughs> I'll show you. For you, it'll be quick, but I'll show you in a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm done in Dollar Tree also. This Dollar, oops. This Dollar Tree was not that great. So I just got a couple of things. And now I'm gonna head home and then I'll show you everything I got. So now I'm back home and I came into the office because Brian's watching football and I was gonna show you what I got. So I'm gonna start with Dollar Tree because there's not that much. So what I got there, they did have something I was looking for, so that was good, I guess. But I got some napkins, because we like these napkins. I got two packs, one for home, one for the lake condo. And then the thing that I'd been hoping I would find was they have the little velvet pumpkins, and I wanted this one that's kind of the bluey green. It looks more blue here, but... Um, because at the condo, I just want to do minimal decorating for like holidays. Like I was going to change out um, the pillows in the, in the living room. I ordered some from Timu. I haven't gotten them yet, but I ordered some pillow covers for Halloween, fall, and Christmas. But I figured these would work good for uh, Halloween and fall. And then I was going to go into my my Halloween supplies that I already have to find like a light up jack-o-lantern but I wanted to get this color and then I also got the orange and I got a gray so these three colors that I'm just gonna take and put on the like little bar top area at the lake condo these match the placemats we have up there but my Dollar Tree hasn't had these little velvet pumpkins and then I got, lastly, the last thing, these little projectors. I've seen people haul them before, 
and I've been curious about them, but I never have seen them before. And so I think they're two different scenes. Yeah, so the orange one has like a skeleton. I don't know how good you can see it. There's a skeleton there. And then I got the black one. It's got a haunted house. And then they just take batteries. So I figured those would be fun to try out. So that's everything for Dollar Tree. I'm putting it in the sack just so I can get it out of my way. They, these pumpkins like this, they also have pink, a pink, a dark blue, and green. And it might have been a light green and a dark green. I'm not sure. At least at mine. I've seen other people show like burlap pumpkins and leather ones, and that one didn't have those. So let's move to Ollie's. I got three bags. I see spent for everything I got at Ollie's I spent $82 and 68 cents I'm just gonna start with the first bag the guy that was checked that did the checking out the cashier they weren't careful <laughs> packaging the stuff and he didn't put it in in any kind of categories so I'm just gonna pull the stuff out but I got two of these Febreze Air Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is one of my favorite scents. And I, I've never seen the Honeysuckle one. But they had these for $2.29, which these are like 3 bucks at Target. So that's not like a huge discount, but it's a good discount. So I got those. Again, no rhyme or reason to the packaging here. I got two of these little Knorr um, three cheese mushroom risottos. I got two because I figured with Brian and I bought some steaks at the grocery store, but we could cook these up and have these as a side. And they were 99, were they 99 or 89? 89 cents. So that was a good price. Then over in the book section, I got, this was a total impulse buy, but I got The Nightmare Before Christmas and I also got Hocus Pocus. But what these are supposed to be are like, it's the 13 Frights of Halloween and it's a countdown to Halloween and it says it's got 13 days of surprises. And these were $2.99 and the list price, like the like what's on the book, is $24.99. <laughs> and it says it has 20 surprises over 13 days. And it says it's got like goodies, games, and gifts. And it shows like a sticker, it looks like, a recipe, a little trivia thing. But I'm gonna open, I'll open up the Nightmare Before Christmas one. I'm not gonna open all the days, but I might open one of them. I thought this would be fun to go through. For $2.99, I figured, why not? They also had a Harry Potter one and a Disney Villains one. So looks like that on the outside. Oh, look. So here's the inside with all the envelopes and they're sealed I'm just gonna open well what what would you st oh, okay it says start on the 13th but here's I don't know you know what I want to be surprised so I will do these on the vlog when it comes time for Halloween it says to start it on like the 13th You open one surprise a day beginning on October 19th or any day that you'd like. The Hocus Pocus was the same, $2.99 also. Ring in Halloween with over a dozen Hocus Pocus collectibles. 
And this says it's more than 20. No, this one too says more than 20 surprises over 13 days. So there's the outside and the inside. That one's open already. So who knows what's in here? I'm expect I'm just expecting it to be like stickers and stuff, but this one feels like something else, like this one here. I don't know. I just thought those would be fun. I love Halloween, so so that's one bag. Then they had this. It's five degree deodorants. And that I like to use degree deodorant. It's one of them that I use. And it's the one that's uh you can it doesn't leave marks or anything on black or white. So like it won't leave white marks on black. It won't leave yellow marks on white. But for five of these, it was eleven ninety nine, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I got that. And then Brian uses the Pronamel, the Sensodyne Pronamel. And they had these for $3.99. And those are like $7. So I got two of them for Brian, which when I texted him to make sure that that was the kind he used, because they also had just the regular Sensodyne that's not the Pronamel. And you could get five of those for $14.99, but he uses the Pronamel. And he said it was, that works out good because he was just getting ready to run out. So that worked. Then I got, they had some foaming hand soap. I've never heard of this brand before called Scent Theory, but it was foaming hand soap. It was $1.49. And they have this one called Cozy Comfort. And then this one that's called Golden Breeze, you know, for the autumn, for like fall time. It's gonna take those down to the lake condo. And I got something for Django. This was $3.49. He loves like the toys like this that he can hug and kick. But this one is Swim Shady. You know, instead of Slim Shady, like Eminem. Swim Shady. By the brand Fat Cat. And I think that it said it had catnip too. I don't really remember. But anyway... They also had one that was a, um, can't think of what it was, what it was called, but it was based on like the Godfather, but I just really liked Swim Shady. So I got that for Django, who you might hear whining outside the door. Then I got this word search book. It's definitive word search, 2,500 words to find, defined. It was $2.99. And what's really cool about this one is it's like got the word find, but then it's got the definition for every single word, which was really, I thought like hockey, linguistics, engineering, basketball, genetics, zoology. There's a whole bunch of different tennis, just tons of different things in here. And then it's got the word, the definitions for all the words. I thought that was pretty cool. They had a few different ones like this that were really neat, but I picked this one. Like they had like musicians and just different things. And then I got, this was, I got two of these. This was an impulse buy, big time. But it's, a t and I got it for like this. And I got two of them. But they're these pens, they're scented. So the ink is scented. But I got the Jolly Rancher that's got all 10 of these colors. And see, to change the color, you just flip them down here. And I got the Mike and Ike that also has 10 colors. I just thought they were fun. And they'd be fun to use with my word search book. 
and they had uh, Twizzlers, no, not Twizzlers, Twizzlers, they had just like an individual, like two pen, two ink pens, but they had Reese's, the different ones, but the Mike and Ike and the Jolly Rancher were the two I got. And then speaking of Halloween, I got this little Happy Halloween. I got this for the condo. It's that teal color, you know, that we have that we like. So I figured I'd have that there. This was, oh, these pens, I forgot to tell you, were $1.99. And then this was $3.99, which I didn't think that was, didn't seem like that great of a price for this. Um, but I still liked it because of the color. So I went ahead and got it. I got myself some, somebody must have done something on football. I also got myself some toothpaste because I use the, the Optic White, the Colgate, and they had this for $4.99. And it's normally eight bucks. So I got myself a toothpaste, which I'm not running low yet, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have a backup. Another thing I got that was cheaper there and I need, I wouldn't drive all the way out there just for laundry detergent, but they had, for this is $7.99 for the Tide Pods, and there's 31 in here. And they had all different ones. Um, this is the Tide for cold water. But I am I think I have like six pods left, so I'm getting low. So that was perfect timing, and $7.99 was a good price. And another thing I got for Mr. Django, they had this nine ounce of cat treats for $1.99. We normally buy him Temptations, but I figured he'd probably like these. He likes the crunchy ones. He doesn't like the soft treats. He just likes the crunchy, and these are crunchy. So something else for Django. And I was looking at like the expiration dates of things. Like this isn't doesn't expire till March of 2025, or you know Best Buy March of 2025, which he'll have a meeting by then. But um, I didn't notice things that were like close to expiration or anything like that because I was thinking I'd find that. Their book section was really nice. They had and they had it sectioned off really good. I didn't see any like horror novels. Like I really love that, except for in the. Like the they had a section for teen books and they had Goosebumps and Five Nights at Freddy's and some different books like that. So they had those over there. But I found some books and so I got Nicholas Sparks, The Choice. This was $3.99 and it sounded really good. I'm not gonna just read the backs to you. I think that's just boring, but you could like look, if you if you wanna see it, you could just look up on Amazon, but Nicholas Sparks, The Choice. So like a mystery. And then Mary Higgins Clark, Where Are the Children? Which is like, I think this is like her first book. Something like that. Yeah, it launched her career. It's a thriller following a woman whose past holds a terrible secret. But Mary Higgins Clark, where are the children? And then the last, actually the last thing I got and the last, oh, and so that one was $3.99 also. And then this one was $2.99. Lisa Jackson, Wicked Ways. So is Lisa Jackson like, what's, why does it have two names? Lisa, this cat, Lisa Jackson and Nancy Bush. I don't know. But anyway, that's the last book I got. So that's everything I got at Ollie's. I definitely would go there again. It was fun to walk around. They had everything. It was it was interesting. But do you guys have Ollie's by you? Um, that was fun. So anyway, that's what I got. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up for the week because it might be a long one. I'm not really sure. But since I shared like earlier in the week, cleaning the condo and then I shared the ollies and everything. It might be kind of a long one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week and I hope you come back next week. Bye.